Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So I'm going to try to do an estimate on whether it's worth your time or not to tear down hard drives. Uh, as y'all can see over here, we've got a decent stack. Voila! Um, so I mean it's, I say a decent stack. So there's one, two, three stacks. Um, they do pay you. I mean, you can get paid for as they are. You can toss them in shred, whatever. But uh, let's tear down a few of them, see how long it takes, and see what kind of money we make. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Say we can go with four, maybe five of these just to see. I think age on them is going to have a pretty good difference in uh, how much you make out of them. Bigger, better motors, that kind of thing. So, let's see. I need to clean this up. I need to completely separate everything. Alright. Put that there to separate that. Alright, 724. So we will go. I'm not going to be racing. I'm not going to show y'all tear down of all of them. Just the first one, in case you've never seen it before. Hold that up. And this is also the way that I do it. Not everybody does it the same. There's our boards, and that's a pretty good size board. There's our wires. This looks like an older one. seem to make much of a difference what order you take your screws out if you're taking most of them out anyway normally I just do one side and then I do the other and would advise safety glasses but you know to each their own
Now I have to say most people that I've seen that do this, they just take the boards off and uh, toss the rest. I assume they're tossing it in a shred. Um, me, I uh, like to strip them down because I know there's gold in the eye. See if we can zoom y'all in just a little bit. There you go. So I know there's gold in the eye, so I've got a bucket of those under there. There's people will buy so something that you want to try to get the gold out of yourself. Time they don't have screws on the back side. This right here always looks like brass to me. Some of them are white, some of them are kind of brass colored. So I cut them out and keep them. Cut kind of like brass too. I have seen some people talking about brass screws and stuff, but uh, every screw up a lot of something is magnetized. So. Alright, so that should be the first one. Um, and some people, each one's got a little switch right, right here. It's got silver in it. There's an LED. It's got silver in it. So it depends on how far you want to go. But I normally stop right here. And I normally get interrupted 800 times. And you know. All that other cool stuff. While I'm doing this. So. I'm going to open these up, bring y'all back, let y'all take a quick look at the insides of these and what they look like and have to offer and uh, then I'll bring y'all back once I've got them torn down and see how much we got. Stay tuned. Just finished. Did a little bit of cleanup. Uh, there's some differences between them, but they all basically tear down the same. It is uh, 757 now. So I'll go back and look at these videos and see what the exact time was. Um, but like I said, most of these, there's a switch or two with silver on them. Other than that, they're low quality. If there's something on there you won't rip it off of there. Uh, one of them has two pieces of aluminum and two pieces of copper covering the chips. Uh, that's that's the one I consider the high dollar one. Um, seems to be built the best and it's the biggest. It's got the most wire in it. It's got other types of wire in it. Um, we've got all this shred here and here. We got our motors. We got our boards. Um, you do get different size boards. I ended up doing five. So as you can see, they're not they're not all the same same size or shape. They do vary. Um, and you actually do sometimes. And I'm assuming this is some of the newer ones. You get some itty bitty boards out of them, so that's going to affect your payout on your boards depending upon how old the drive is what the quality of the drive is all that stuff but I mean we did five so um, we're gonna try to weigh all this stuff up 
see what it all comes out to. I'm going to take me a little break and eat me some supper first. Now these right here, you might can sell these online, I have not looked, but that's the rods that the uh, eye rides back and forth on. Um, people might want those for projects online or whatever, I haven't checked. Probably get a whole lot more for those that way. So Anyway, we'll see y'all when I'm done weighing it all up, I guess. So we can get this over here where y'all can see decent. Alright, so all this teardown was desktop. It was not um, laptop. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so we'll go with number one copper, see if it'll even register. Nothing. Didn't think it would. Not even an ounce. Aluminum. to the figures <clears throat> I mean it's it's really nothing we're gonna wait all this wire out you can throw it in as mixed so we've got stuff there um, so as you can see there's not a lot of not a lot of money in there but some of that wire does have gold ends on it which I will cut off to get the gold from later but it does add up pretty quickly. As I said, that's wire from five. So we know this is low quality. It's an ounce. Oh, two ounces. And we also know there's LEDs on there and there's uh, those little switches. these and I've heard of people selling the eyes online to people so you're looking at four ounces oh five ounces of those yeah I say eyes whatever you want to call them um because some people will buy them just to get the gold so that's something else you can look on online for to see, you know, what they want to charge for it. Um, brass, I doubt it's even going to register. Nope. But it's there. Uh, motors. Let's 
let's see here. So we've got the boards, and I think they're all under one price. I don't think there's any difference. shred it's gonna be kind of interesting to see if we can get all the all on here and not walk off somewhere to just be to go check and see what type of prices we get compared to how long you know we spent doing this and we can also check and see if uh, these sell separate online for people doing projects and stuff with you here in just a minute all right so let's see what we got here motors and transformers twenty cent a pound Breakage six and a pound low gray board. 55 cent a pound it's not hard drive boards DVD drive boards or CD-ROM boards five dollars and ten cent a pound and then we had some of the various other stuff so let me let me do a little bit of checking here and see what we can find all right so there's two other ways to handle these one you can throw them in shred think board sort of on as they are um, so let's make sure we we cover those so here's five and this is all estimates so that's seven pounds nine ounces
and then your last option which we're going to try out now would be what if you just take the drive board out and toss the rest and shred so let's time that and see should have started this with the first five and just didn't think about it because I could have done it you know straight through and did everything all in one one shoot and use the same boards and all that stuff this is the way that most people do it my problem is there's so much other stuff in there that the value just overruns the the most value equation just kind of overruns you know making the most money for you know per hour so that's kind of my issue that's why i tend to take them all the way down um it's a whole lot more money that way over time now not per hour it's not by no means and i think that's why most people do it this way those boards are five fifty a pound, so you lose them five dollars and fifty cent once you've gone through enough of them. Just toss them in shred. So that's like the main value. So we'll, uh, we'll test it out and see. Two left. Now, of course, one of them wants to be a pain. As y'all can see, there's all different sizes and shape boards. So there's there's quite a bit of variation when you're weighing the boards. But I don't value the dollar per hour, so to speak, as a lot of people do, because if I wasn't sitting here doing this, I mean what would I be doing? Probably watching TV, wasting my life. nothing to show for it at the end not to say watching TV is wasting your life but I mean that's kind of how I was raised spent a lot of time with my grandparents they turned the TV on like at supper or after supper and watched through the nightly news and then went to bed
and I can't sit still very long. It becomes painful pretty quick, so I'm constantly back and forth and up and down and sitting and watching a two hour movie is kind of rough. See, this is one of them I call the, uh, the good DVD drives. They've got all this extra wire, extra plugs, decent size board. You look at all the extra in here. The others don't have all that regular wire, that small computer wire and stuff. They just got a couple little things. So these tend to weigh a little more. So, let's figure out the weight on that. And again, this is five boards. So, uh, let's see how much the weight's off from the last five. Five boards, we're looking at uh, six ounces. And shred weight, we're looking at seven pounds, four ounces. So let's, uh, let's finish figuring the numbers on all this and see which way is actually the fastest money per hour or the easiest money per hour and uh, we'll see what it comes out to alright so we are back over here at board sort Five ten. A pound for the boards. <sighs> you go down here, your breakage is six cent. CD drives and floppy drives, they pay 30 cent. And yeah. So we're going to knock the math out on that again. Time was, uh, about seven minutes. All right, so boards of six ounces comes to a dollar ninety-two. Uh, shred seven pounds four ounces comes to forty-four cent. Only took about seven minutes. Seven minutes into sixty minutes <sighs> gives you eight point five seven. So uh, you could do that 8.57 times. So when you multiply the money out, uh, if you add them together, it's two dollars and thirty-six cents in seven minutes. You multiply it out, it comes up to twenty dollars and twenty-two cent an hour. So, with that said, that gives you the biggest bang for your buck. You know, dollar an hour. Um, complete teardown, you're looking at about $1.66 an hour. Not making good hourly wage, but in the long run, you're going to end up with more money from what you're tearing down. So, I do consider that as an option as well. Um, I'm not running a business. I'm not supporting myself doing this right now. Uh, it's just extra money. Therefore, I'm going the route of every cent I can get. I'm going to try to get. I'm going to cut the ends off the wires for the gold. I'm going to pull the buttons off for the silver. On and on and on. Because I'm trying to save up money. And yes, it's taking me longer, but I'm getting all the money out of it I can. 
Now, there was two other options. You could just throw it all in shred. You're looking at 47 cents. Um, or you can sell it to board sort as a DVD drive. You're looking at $2.37. So, by far, the best way is selling it straight to board sort. It's a penny difference between taking the boards off and tossing the rest in the shred and just selling it straight to board sort. Uh, it's actually a penny more. So 237. So if you live close to board sort, you're gonna drive the stuff there or whatever. That's the way to do it if you're close to it and you're not driving halfway across the country or having to ship it because that's gonna get expensive as big as they are. Um, second best is taking the boards off, selling them to board sort, and if it fits the ship's box, throwing the rest in shred. That's gonna give you your best money. If you want to get every cent out of it you can, tear down completely, take the motors out, take the shred, take the wires, take everything, it all adds up over time. Before you know it, you got a bag full of wires and a box full of motors and, you know, um, and then by far the cheapest amount you're going to get for it no matter what you're doing is shred price at 47 cents for five of them. Um, so there's your options, there's the different ways of doing it, uh, you know, each one of us is different, so each one of us does something different. Um, right now, I'm tearing them completely down. When I start running a business, and I'm having somebody else doing it, I'm having to pay them $10, $15 an hour, 100%, they're going to rip the board out with tossing the rest and shred and we're gonna keep rolling um, if I lived close to board sort I just sell them as they are to them it's you're gonna get basically the same amount of money and you don't even have to take them in take them apart spend any time you just stack them up and roll on so hope this helps some of y'all hope it's enjoyable hope it wasn't too awful long but I wanted to make sure to show everything so you know anyway Catch you on the next video. Have a good one.